Today I'm back at NC Sanya. Is that little news years? Hey, hey you! Are you four? I am. And my name's Bram. And I'm four! And I'm Jake, Bram's dad. But some people call me Boxer Brew. Blah! And here is the news. Well, hello from the road. Today's July 31st, Wednesday, 2019. And we're in a car. That's right. Normally, we fly around my boxer wings. They're really, really fun. But, you know, today, today we just rented a car. Yes, we're, we're, we're going um, to, 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 where, to where it all began. Um, it actually started in Onondaga uh, a Cave. Oh, that's right. They don't know about Onondaga Cave, do they? They sure don't. And I don't know if you know this, Dad, but today is National Mutt Day. Mutts. You know, I have a, a funny feeling about them because I am not a mutt. No, no, no I know, but, but mutts are great dogs, right? They actually normally live longer. Excuse me, do you know that I'm 250 years old? Yes, 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 I, I know. I'm talking about today, 2019, Earth. Uh, mutts are great dogs, and, and, and they, li- they live longer, you know, so, so adopting them is, is pretty good, I think. Doosh, doosh. Today's first bit of news is all about the Congress. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but the Congress are the, the group of people in America that, that make laws, and uh, it's divided in, in two, two parts. One of the parts is called the Senate, and the boss of the Senate, he's known as the majority leader. His name is Mitch McConnell, and people right now, the news is, they're starting to call him Moscow Mitch. Moscow Mitch? What? Wait a minute. What? Why? Where? What's Moscow? Well, Moscow is a city in Russia, which which has often been been uh, um, kind of, uh, let's say, an enemy with the United States. But wait a minute, that's not exactly true, because in World War II, we were we were we were allies, friends with Russia, right? Uh, yes, that's right. But but over the past several several years, um, uh, as long as Russia, you know, was was a communist country, and uh, even after the, the fall the fall of communism in Russia. Um, the, we're not, we don't have the best relationship with Russia. And so some people are saying, in fact, many people are saying, in fact, it's basically a fact that Russia went into our voting and they ended up uh, causing some, some problems with voting. What do you mean? Well, uh, it's a long story, but things like Facebook and, and things like that, uh, some, some people in Russia, um, they, they actually, uh, made up fake accounts and they, they started influencing, you know, causing Americans to, to vote for certain people. Uh, and, and, and that's bad. Yes, it is. And so now in the Senate, they are not um, uh, voting for better security for elections. You know what I mean? And because of that, um, you know, they're calling the, the head of the Senate a uh, Moscow Mitch, they're making fun of him. Oh, I bet he's getting angry. Yes, he's getting very angry. Douche, douche. The next story is also kind of about politics. Um, since Donald Trump has, has said no more families need to be separated, uh, which, which, gosh, that makes me so sad. You know, along the border, there are still nine, about 900 families that have been separated down there. So, so it sounds pretty sad. Yes, it does. Douche. You know, I don't know if you know this, but a problem that banks have is with hackers. What's a hacker? Well, hackers are people who go into computers and they break through, like they they, they break through, they they steal passwords and and stuff like that. Um, For example, MasterCard. That's the credit card that you use, right? Yes, MasterCard. um, They have about 460,000 tries of people trying to break in every day. Oh my gosh, yes, that's a big deal. And so recently, another company, Capital One, was was compromised. What's compromised? Oh, that means that somebody got into their system and broke in. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Yes, it is. Douche, douche. This is the coolest news ever. I think it's really, really amazing. Uh, Ethiopia. Where's Ethiopia? Oh, it's it's in the eastern part of, of Africa. Uh, it's a very beautiful country. Um, and, you know, they don't have many trees. In fact, only about 4% of the whole country uh, has trees. 4%? Can you explain percent again? Well, imagine you have 100 beads, 100 red beads, right? And of all those beads, uh, replace four of those red beads with blue beads. And those four blue beads are 4%. Oh, so they really didn't have a lot of trees, did they? No, no, they didn't. But here's, here's the thing. One day, 
He planted 350 million trees. What? How did they plant so many trees? That sounds amazing. Yes, exactly. They planted 350 million trees. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. Douche. Douche. So, you know, you know, we just left St. Louis and, you know, we're in the car, but I want to tell you something about St. Louis. It's really, really cool. They're, they're using these things called parklets. Uh, a parklet? What's a parklet? A parklet is like a, a, a temporary um, uh, a park. They, they build a little mini park, like a tiny, tiny park in a parking lot. And basically it's for people to, you know, have a sandwich or talk to a friend or have a discussion about something or play the flute. Oh, I love playing the flute. That's my favorite instrument, as you know. Yes, yes, I know. And so, this is a really cool thing. Yes, it started in San Francisco um, a, a few years back, I think 10 years back or so. And then in Minnesota, they started doing it, I think in Minneapolis, and now they're doing it in St. Louis. I love that. Okay. Oh, you know what? I see Onondaga Park. Onondaga Park is coming. Oh, I can't wait, Dad. This is where it all really began, and you're going to explain to me how it happened, right? That's right. So tomorrow is our very special show. Every 20 shows, it's something really cool. See you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for listening to Little News Ears. It's news to grow up with. Bye. Do you want this week's news? Go to littlenewsears.com. Don't forget to check out our videos on youtube.com and our teacher lesson plans and more on littlenewsears.com. May your sweetness shine. And your colors glow. Sources for today's broadcast include the New York Times, CNN, and Star Tribune.